Using a new iPad in the Riverside app, plus an audio interface like the Rodecaster Duo, you can do hybrid recordings with both you and other in-person guests, plus remote guests using the Riverside app, and get separate audio tracks for everyone. It's a pretty wild setup, but I'm gonna walk you through it step-by-step step so you can do hybrid recordings with just an iPad and audio interface. Firstly, I'm using the new M4 iPad Pro, but this will also work with an iPad Air or any iPad with a USB-C connector on the bottom. We'll get back to using that in the Riverside app in a second. The audio interface we're gonna be using though is the Rodecaster Duo. The reason why is we can do two in-person microphones via these XLR connectors connected via USB-C to the iPad, but the Rodecaster Duo can also record to a micro SD card, which I'm gonna insert right here, and this way we can get separate audio tracks for the in-person microphones. This can work with other audio interfaces as well, as long as it can record locally to an SD card or some other local storage option. I'm gonna connect two XLR microphones namely a Shure MV7 and an MV7 Plus. The Shure MV7 is a great sounding microphone, and if you go with the MV Plus, which I did a review here on the Riverside channel, you can check it out above or we'll link it in the description. This can be used as a USB microphone just by itself or via an XLR cable with an audio interface like we're gonna use it now. But if you wanna see a video on using this as a USB microphone with one cable to record with your iPad, check out that video above or in the description as well. I'm gonna connect the other end of those microphones into the Rodecaster Duo. So now we have our two microphones connected. Now you'll also see the Rodecaster Duo has several USB-C connections. This is where we're gonna plug in the power cable that comes with the Duo, and we're gonna plug in a USB-C cable into the USB one port on this device, and this is gonna go to our iPad. I'll plug in that cable here, we'll plug in the power cable, and let's turn on the Rodecaster Duo. Now we're gonna double check some settings on the Duo in a moment, but we're gonna add one more piece of gear in this setup, and that is a USB-C hub. The reason why we're gonna use this is we wanna keep our iPad charged during the recording so we never have to think about battery life. This hub has two USB-C ports. I'm actually gonna plug in the Rodecaster Duo to this USB-C port on the hub. This way it'll connect to the iPad, and then I'm gonna connect power to this USB-C port, and then we attach the hub to the iPad. Now our iPad is gonna be charging because it's plugged into power and we're connected to the Rodecaster Duo interface. All right, now that we have everything connected, we should be seeing signal on the two microphones connected to the Rodecaster Duo. I'll speak into one mic after another and you're gonna see those levels go up and down on the Duo. This is microphone two and this is microphone one. Now, depending on the microphones you're using, you might have to go into each microphone setting, choose dynamic or condenser microphone and adjust the gain. You wanna make sure the volume when you're speaking directly into the microphone is in that yellow area, but not crossing over into the red, and we don't want it too low, otherwise we're not gonna get enough volume. I also choose to disable processing. While you can add effects to certain microphones, I like to have the cleanest recording possible and then add those effects in later. The final step in the process is connecting a pair of wired headphones. This way we can hear our own voice through our microphone and the remote guest through Riverside. I plug the headphones right into the Rodecaster Duo and a couple other settings we might want to adjust. I'm gonna click the gear icon here at the top of the screen and then go over to outputs. Here in the outputs, we do wanna to go to routing. This is where we change what audio is going to what destination. I'm gonna to go to the recording section first. This is what's gonna be recorded to the SD card. I want microphone one and two to be recorded separately. And I also have the USB here because I want my remote guest recorded to the SD card as well. So I can leave everything as is here. Then I'm gonna to go to the USB one section and I wanna choose mix minus. This way my remote guests will hear the in-person microphones, but they won't hear themselves as an echo. I'm gonna to go to the USB one chat option and make sure that's mix minus as well. And now we should be ready to go. I'll go home. I'm ready to record with my SD card. You see I have 12 hours of recording there and both of my mics are getting volume here on the Duo. Now let's jump into the Riverside app on the iPad. I've logged into my Riverside account, gone into one of my studios, and let's click record. Here in the lobby screen, you can now choose to do things like virtual backgrounds, or you can even choose to blur your background. This way it looks like a real studio setup. I'm gonna tap join in the top right corner, and we're almost ready to record. From here, I can invite remote guests to join me to record in the Riverside studio by tapping invite guest, tap the three dots, and then you can share that link via text, email, Slack, and someone can join you here in the studio. I'm gonna reconnect the Rodecaster Duo with the USB-C cable, and you're gonna see a pop-up on the iPad screen. We actually wanna tap no, because we're using the Duo as both headphones and microphone. I've actually joined using that guest link from a secondary device, and so you can see this is me as a remote guest, and the iPad is like the in-person guest. 
and I just double checked and I can hear both the microphones going into the Duo and iPad through the headphones of the remote guest and I can hear my remote guest through the headphones connected to the Rodecaster Duo. Then when you're ready to record hosting from the iPad, I'm gonna tap record here in the studio. You'll get the countdown and then you'll be recording in high quality video and audio, both you in person with your iPad. It's recording using the iPad camera and the audio is gonna be from the Rodecaster Duo and the two in-person guests or however many you have connected to your interface. Now, if we wanna get separate tracks for our in-person guests, I will need to record here on the Rodecaster Duo. This is now recording all the in-person microphones to that SD card. So as you record those two in-person microphones going to the Rodecaster Duo, you'll have separate audio tracks via the SD card that you're recording to right now. And you'll have separate tracks for your remote guest in Riverside, both high quality video and audio. I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like once we're done recording. Here on the iPad app, I'll hit the stop button, wait for the files to upload. You'll get that progress up here that it's uploading the recordings. I can also stop the recording here on the Rodecaster Duo, tap and hold to actually stop the recording, and you'll see it's saving to the SD card. And now my upload is completed on my iPad as well. Then when I log into my Riverside account, I can see that hybrid recording here. Now I'll have one track for my in-person guests. You see that's a 4K video recorded from the iPad camera, and I can download that raw uncompressed wave audio file, which will have both of those in-person mics combined but my remote guest will have their own high quality video and audio files that I can download separately. And finally, if you wanna access those separate audio tracks from your in-person microphones, just take the SD card out of the Rodecaster Duo and conveniently this hub, which I'll link down in the video description, actually has a micro SD card reader built in. So I don't have to disconnect anything. I'll just put the micro SD card right there in the hub. And if I go to the files app on my iPad, you'll see the SD card shows up as Rodecaster here a folder is created for every new recording. And when I go to that recording, I can see three different tracks. And so these are the three separate audio tracks, microphone one and two of my in-person guests, and even a track from my audio or remote guest that came through Riverside. And then I can take these audio files into Logic, GarageBand, or another application and edit it all together with separate audio tracks for everyone both my in-person and my remote guests. Or if you have a desktop or laptop computer, you can go to your web browser, log into your Riverside account, and put it all together in the Riverside editor. Here's a past recording I did of a video podcast. I'll click the edit button in the top right corner, and now I have all these powerful editing tools right in Riverside. We'll automatically put you and your co-host side by side. If you'd like, you could rearrange that using the tracks option here on the right-hand side. We have different layout options like adding space between the videos, rounding the corners, and you can even add things like a custom background or use one of the stock backgrounds we make available right here in the editor. You can add those animated captions if you'd like. And in order to edit the content, it's as easy as selecting words or sentences and just pressing delete. Like you're editing a Word document, you just edited your audio and video. You can use the search box to jump to a specific point in the recording. You can also see every time that word was spoken down here in the timeline. We also have magic tools like set pace so you can remove the perfect amount of silence this way it has a good pace throughout the entire recording. We also have great overlay tools like text overlays, which is great for titles, maybe URLs, or sponsors that you'd like to highlight during the episode. You can overlay images. You can actually search for royalty-free images right here in Riverside, select one of those. It'll overlay on the video. You can resize, move it around, and you can also upload your own images if you'd like. Add those overlays, create really visually engaging content. You can preview that, see the animated captions with the highlighted active word, and when you're ready to export, just click the export button in the top right corner. You can export up to 4K video quality, which is great for YouTube, normalize audio to make everything the same volume, and export video. And that's how to conduct a hybrid recording, getting separate tracks for in-person guests and remote guests using just an iPad and the Riverside app. If you'd like to learn more about Riverside, I'll put a playlist right up here. It's our Learn to Use Riverside playlist, where I explain the entire platform and new features that are launching all the time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel below, hit that like button, and if you want to check out how to podcast with an iPad with just a single cable and a USB microphone, I'll put that video right up here, and those links are also in the description below. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.